from New York at the 12th annual Digitas New Front. We're broadcasting from the Highline stages, a venue that we have come back to year over year. It is just amazing. You're going to see it in just a few minutes. I'm Jody Robinson, North American President of Digitas, and I am going to be your host for this pre-show segment before we get to the main stage show. You're going to hear from some of the speakers and panelists and a sponsor in this upfront segment. And then you're going to hear from so many other amazing thought leaders in this space. Today's show is about trust. If you don't know Digitas, and I'd be wondering why that is the case, as a reminder, we are the connected marketing agency. And we are, I would say, uh, absolutely inspired and obsessed about brand love, but also inspiring brand trust with consumers. And you're going to hear a lot about that today and our unique data, creative, media, technology, spin, does all of that for our clients and more. My first guest I'm so excited to introduce is Lynn Bader, and I'm gonna invite her to join me now. Lynn is the Director of Agency Partnerships with LinkedIn, and LinkedIn is our sponsor of this live broadcast. And Lynn, we are streaming live Great. with the new LinkedIn Live product. I'd love for you to tell us about it. What is it and how is it unique maybe from some of the other live stream products in the marketplace? Sure, so first I want to say thank you for having us. Yeah. We're thrilled to be here. So LinkedIn introduced video onto the platform in 2017 and it has actually become the fastest growing format on the platform. Um, the live video has become the most requested feature that we have heard of by far. Yeah, yeah. And we were really excited to actually launch live in North America in a rather limited fashion today about two months ago. And we think that live video just represents and presents incredible opportunity, sure. not only for LinkedIn members, but also for brands that are represented on LinkedIn to provide content and value um, in a way that they haven't been able to before. And I think today's event is actually an amazing example of that, right? We're in an invitation only event. Yeah. We're about to start streaming a few hours of really rich content to a scaled audience of LinkedIn professionals that can't be here live. Um, that otherwise wouldn't have access to this sure. content. So absolute value for those members. And we've seen some really interesting use cases over the past couple of months. Everything from fireside chats to product announcements and demos, live Q&A with executives and business leaders, even alumni events. So Great. we're really excited to watch how our members continue to leverage the feature. And we're actually also really excited to understand what kind of live video, what types of content is resonating the most with sure. our member base. Great, well thank you, because this event, I hope is one of the best use cases. Yeah. We're the, maybe the, 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 the first agency to do something of this scale, is Absol that right? Yes, awesome. absolutely. Great, and I should have mentioned too, for those watching, we're going to take some questions at the end, which is another feature of the platform. Great. And we're going to be able to answer some of those questions. So start submitting your questions. Um, you also know that our show today is about brand trust. Yes. And LinkedIn, in my opinion, and the opinion of many surveys out there and people, is one of the most trusted social platforms. I know you don't always call yourself a social platform, yeah. but really a lot of um, others in the space have been plagued by that issue as of late. Yeah. So what is LinkedIn doing right? What are you guys doing that we can learn from? Yeah, sure, that's a great question. So yes, LinkedIn has been named um, for the past two years in a row the most trusted platform by the Business that's Insider amazing. Trust Survey and we are so incredibly proud of that. Um, and I honestly think it boils down to the fact that LinkedIn is a mission-based, a vision-based, a values-based organization. One of our core values actually revolves around our members first policy. We make significant decisions, actually down to very small decisions based on whether it is the right decision for our members. It's ingrained in everything that we do. And I think when you have that type of mindset and you 
breed that type of behavior and you build rigor around it, like yeah. we do at LinkedIn, it not only leads to a wonderful member experience, but it leads to incredible trust from our membership, Excellent. which is what we're seeing. Excellent. Well, that's why we're with you, and that's why we're so happy you're hosting yeah, with us and thank Spark you. partnering together. Yeah, thank we're you, happy Lynn. Too. All right, enjoy the show. Thank Have you fun. Too. Excellent. Well, thank you, Lynn. Uh, we're going to invite another guest, two guests, in fact, and I hope they're ready. Oh, yes, they are. They are none, none other than Erin Condon, who is the VP Director of Front of Store Sales for CVS Health, uh, one of our clients, and our global CMO, Jill Kelly. Hello. Visionary, visionary great for many here. years with New Front. Great so to be excited. Here, so, you always. guys are going to be talking up on stage today. Excellent. So, Erin. My question is for you because yes. I can't wait for everyone to hear more about what CVS is doing in this space with the CVS Beauty Mark. Can you tell us about that program and that commitment that you guys have made? What does that look like? Yeah, so a little over a year ago, we announced a commitment to provide more transparency with beauty imagery in our stores and in all of our marketing vehicles and all of our channels based on what the consumer was asking for. And so we made a commitment that we will have all of our stores compliant by the end of 2020. And um, we're already 70% of the way there. We're super excited. Our brand partner Partners have been phenomenal in coming along for, uh, with, on the journey with us, and I'm excited to talk more about it today. Excellent. And can you talk about the beauty unaltered? Sure. Yeah. So yeah. So essentially, what the beauty mark represents is an image. <laughs> uh, seen here. Um, and so all of the images in our store have one mark or the other. So if the images have not been altered, they have a beauty mark and a, and a beauty unaltered message. And if they have been altered, they say digitally altered. And so with this, we're trying to get consumers to join the movement and follow our hashtag, beauty Absolutely. unaltered. Share your unfiltered selfie. Become part of this incredible movement that consumers are really getting behind. That's excellent. So you're a CMO. What does this do in our industry when a brand like this steps up to this kind you know, of challenge. I, I, I will first say CVS Health has been really an extraordinary, living, actionable company that is really purpose driven. There are a lot of brands who do not live up to that promise, but CVS Health is certainly one of them. From the early days back in 2014 when it stopped selling tobacco in its, in its stores to the Beauty Mark campaign, I think this is a, a time and a moment for brands to really stand up and stand out in terms of doing good does mean good business yep. too. Yep. And I think that the, the notion of profit and purpose does not have to be at odds. In fact, they almost feed each other. And these are not necessarily choices that we have to make. One definitely influences the other and it circles back. And I think this is a really incredible time for companies like CVS who are really taking the stand to provide the best services for their customer and in turn, their customers will love them back. Yes, great. So you guys are going to talk about that yes. today. What do you hope people take away from your conversation? I hope that a lot of them take away what Jill just said, right? So, you know, the marketing funnel has collapsed. Um, the reason that consumers making, are making choices and putting their dollar in different places is changing. Purpose is becoming more important um, and it's becoming a key motivator or reason to believe that stands up next against value because value is being redefined for the consumer. Time, money, trust. Um, and so I'm, I hope that the audience is excited to hear some of the things that CVS has done that really demonstrate that. Excellent, so we are excited Thank you so much yes. for being here, for being here with us, for sharing more. We're very excited to hear. Thank you for having Excellent. me. Thanks, Thank Aaron. You. Thanks, Thank Jill. You, Excellent. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thanks. All right. So next up, we have Anna Angelic. Anna, can I invite you to come out here? Thank you so much. Anna, I'm so excited for you to hear more about her. Thank you very you much. are a brilliant brand strategist. You are, have a Thank PhD you. in sociology. I do. You are a writer. <laughs> I don't know what you don't do. Uh, you have worked with the most prestigious brands um, in the industry. So I think you're pretty credentialed to stand up here. And you're going to be talking Thank with you. Nancy Dubuque, the CEO of Vice I Media. Want to hear more about so that? Yes. I also, though, wanted to ask you you write a lot about social influence. I do. Uh, what is it that people are doing right? How should they think about so uh, social influence? Obviously, this is a conference about trust. Can you do it right? Absolutely, and I think that too often social influence is equated with social influencers, and we all know like the 
challenges to trust that come from social right. influencers? Do you trust them when they promote something because they truly like it or they're paid to do that? And now you even have people who want to be influencers who are like buying things from themselves, pretending they're paid for by brands in order yeah. to promote something. Right. Whereas uh, social influence is a fascinating and complex area of sociology and the best brands are doing it in a smart way, which is understanding and managing dynamic or social influence networks in a way to build their brand. And one way to do that is to zoom in on your community of enthusiasts, like Patagonia does. Right, what is the right. passion point of the audience? What is the passion point of the brand? And then you really intersect. And how do you then amplify that initial community? That yeah, is social yeah. influence. Right. Or so another example is like, pay attention what's going on in Zeitgeist. Yeah. Know how to read the culture. For example, like Harris and Dollar Shave Club have done, which was back in 2013. Man, all of these started spending more on grooming than before. Yeah. And those guys basically capitalized and captured that trend to build their own brands. That's a good sure, example. Sure, sure. So I think we are just like missing. We are tip of the iceberg. Social influence means social influences. Whereas it it should be like studied in a business way. That is how you build your brand. Really today. Excellent. Yeah. So noted. We'll do more of that. We'll advise Sounds our clients. Great. Thank you. What are you going to talk to Nancy about today? What a Right. So for me, like the the like Vice has like even yesterday they had a fantastic. They had a great show. Uh, absolutely. Yep. Made a big like, statement uh, in the marketplace. Big statements, yep. big changes coming up, and the way that I want to address that with Nancy is like accumulation of marginal gains. That means how do you change the behavior one percent at a time, and when you accumulate all of that, how do you create bigger change? Because now the big challenge for Vice is like to to give a big statement. They're like, yeah, why would I trust you? But if you walk the walk one step at a time, that is going to come across as way more credible. Excellent. So that uh, that's, uh, I think, we're going to talk about. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, Excellent. yeah, yeah. Excellent. Any final advice you think as marketers approach this space that they need to think about? Well, I think that like we are asking, oh, do you trust people? Do you trust brands? For me, it's overall like, do you trust overall that people and things are say are who they say they are? Yeah. And I think that is a, like I think all of us need to be aware of that question because like trust is gone. So how do you go back, or can you even go back? So very topical issue. I'm glad we picked it. Thank you Thank for you being very here. Much We're for so excited me. to I'm hear such more. Such a pleasure to be Excellent. here. Thank all you right. very much. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. So one final guest. Very excited to join. I wanted you to do that. Uh, have him join me, none other than our global brand president. You know him as MK or Michael Khan. MK, come join me. Hi, Joey. What? I'm not getting How a hug. Are you? What? It's unbelievable. How are you doing? It's I was watching thing. you before from another screen, and it was like <laughs> unbelievable. Like the Today Show is going to be calling <laughs> momentarily. No question about it. Excellent, exactly. Excellent. So yeah. our twelve annual event we're it's here this is your annual. second this is my second one i'm blown away by the whole thing just the energy in the room yes. all the preparation that goes on them sitting there putting together the whole set yesterday to have it all come yes. and be magic yes. today yes i was sitting Sometimes in a, moments before totally i was sitting in a park before we got here just looking at my notes for my closing today and i sat down on a chair and it was freshly painted. So I had a very interesting start to today's new front oh, event. That's so exactly. Great. That's so great. So high expectations. Yes. What expectations do you have for the clients in attendance, for yeah. those people watching yeah. so on the great, live stream? Great question. So, you know, the whole topic is about trust, yep. obviously, and it couldn't be any other more under duress than it is right now with what's going on great. in every way, shape, and form. So the fact is that we've got a two hour session with all these outside speakers coming in talking about how you go after truth, how you go after trust, how you do it in a legitimate, authentic way, couldn't be any more powerful or timely for brands than it is right now. Totally. So agreed, I, I agreed. think that our brands and, and everyone in the room will take away a whole lot from this of what they could do differently starting tomorrow. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. We do a lot of this with our clients today. Totally. Totally. I think I've heard you and we've talked a lot about yeah. the importance of getting the core experience right, an end-to-end -end right. connected experience, but yeah. making that experience the best that it can be. Yeah. And so by doing also instilling trust, yeah. are there experiences, are there examples 
that you're really proud of, I think, from our own yeah. portfolio? I think there's three, and I think the one that I'd make a comment on is it can't be ever us alone, so it's all in reflection of the brands that we partner Absolutely. with and the spirit and energy they have. So one would be CVS and with the Beauty Mark effort putting in real imagery within all their advertising and marketing yep. and are being part of that in every way, shape, and form and enabling the pharmacy experiences to bring that to life. So that's one for sure. I think another example from end-to-end -end experiences, Whirlpool Corporation, yep. they talk about everyday care, how they can demonstrate and authentically show the acts of love that come with every one of their appliances and how we can bring that to life. With they make our good on that connect, promise. Yeah, with Absolutely. our connected creativity. And the last one would be American Express, who went out there, created a shop small event to empower small businesses and enable communities. So excellent. I think those are all great examples that we can be any more proud of. Excellent, excellent. Totally. Well, I'm hearing that our show is about to begin. Moments away. Uh-huh, And but I think we might have time. Will you join me for maybe yes. a question or two? Yes. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go live to the LinkedIn Here audience. And this see is what so questions good. have come through. Look at Let's Jody see. master the Let's cell see. phone. All this right, is perfect. Right, here we here go. we go. All right. This is from Denisha uh, out in San Francisco. Hi, Denisha. Thanks for, for asking. How is this year's New Front theme different and unique from last year? Last year was really about taking a stand. Uh, and I think similar to this year, it is still about encouraging brands and other agencies like ourselves right. to be um, very bold in their approach to the marketplace. This yeah. one being about trust is a similar bold theme, but I think as you were saying, so right. topical it and is. actually a very different spin I, on I being bold so and making sure that we actually understand what is in the zeitgeist yeah. and what people are, are I, talking I think, about and uh, struggling last with. Last year was so much about brands like standing for something and that's because consumers now want to have brands that have a soul about yes. them and a reason for being in a mission, right? This is about honesty and integrity in the way you go to market and everything you do. People to people, brands to people, uh, institutions to everyone that is serving yes. uh, with them. Yeah. So I feel like this is a different kind of connection point in terms of the authenticity of who you are. Agreed, agreed. I'm so excited for the show. Oh, one other question okay. that came through. Okay. Everyone wants to know, who are you wearing, MK? <laughs> Who am I wearing? Who are you wearing today? <laughs> I don't know how to answer <laughs> that totally question. Oh You've totally stumped me. <laughs> nice job. What should I say? What was the right answer to that? It's a designer question. Okay. We're on the red carpet. All right. All thank right. you. Nice Live job. Live to our main stage event. Enjoy the show, everyone. I'm so good. <laughs> Great job. Great job.